Good night, everybody. This is Lego set number 5975. It came out in year 2000 and was part of the line Dino's, Dino Island, a sub-team of the LEGO Adventurer sets. The set is not huge by today's standards, but it's pretty big and we get a nice car, a truck, five minifigures, this large boat and two big dinosaurs, which is cool. And uh, we also, of course, also get the instruction book, which is pretty standard. Let's see if we can see it there we go this is the instruction book it's standard but it's got something nice in the end because aside from some alternate build pictured in the end we also get a short dinosaurs guide here with different species shown and uh, with some information like the way they move their size or what they eat here two of those dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus Rex and the Triceratops are, by the way, included in this set. Now, let's get to see the minifigures. And so these are the main characters of this adventure. We get Dr. Kilroy, the paleontologist of the expedition, which gets this magnifying glass that actually works. Then we get Mike. I usually put him to drive the boat. Then the main hero of the adventurous sets, Johnny Thunder. And then the two villains that are Lord Sam Sinister. He's got a hook in, uh, in the place of his left hand. And his sister, his uh, daughter, which is Alexia Sinister, here. At the time, none of the minifigures had any back printing. As you can see. Okay, now aside from the human creatures, we also get a couple nice dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus Rex here in green, which looks cool. It's the old mold of Tyrannosaurus Rex, but it's cool. And uh, he can move his head, or actually, he can open his mouth, move his arms, and his tail. And this is his size in comparison to a human creature, to a human being, a Lego minifigure. Nice, I would say. We also get for him a tiny little kitty dinosaur here, which is nice. It's a small piece, it's got no articulation. Focus, please. Okay. But it's nice to have him included. Then we get the Triceratops, the other big dinosaur, here. And this animal here, in particular, this piece here that forms his main body, is unique to this set, by the way. The Triceratops can move his tail, open the mouth, and again, here's his size in comparison to a Lego minifigure. Also in the set, for the bad guys, we get this car here, in a nice sturdy style, which is cool. It's got a couple rifles stored on the sides for any, uh, I don't know, evil purposes. It's got storage in the back for a couple accessories and the baby dinosaur, because I think that Sam Sinister has kidnapped the baby dinosaur from the custody of Dr. Kilroy, maybe to sell him or to make money. The problem is that all that happens inside of the dinosaur's mother, the big Tyrannosaurus Rex. Now this is the truck you get with the set. It's made of two parts, the truck itself, which is nice, it's actually more detailed than the car was. It holds only one figure, sadly, but it's nice. And I like this, uh, this windshield here that is printed. Cool. Then we get the trailer of the truck, which is big enough to hold the dinosaur, which is cool. And uh, it's got the crate on the back to hold some accessories. I'll show you all the accessories you get in this set, because there are many. Okay, put it together and move on. 
and last but not least we get the large boat that brought the dinosaurs to the city. It's long enough to hold both big dinosaurs, even though in most pictures you see just the triceratops, it's got this nice chain to hold them in position, nice. It doesn't float because it's almost entirely brick built, but it's nice anyway, because it offers you a lot of space to play with, a lot of room to play with. It's got lots of accessories, nice engine, coal powered, by the way. And we got a crate here with more accessories, which is nice. And Mike here driving the whole boat. Now I've told you there were lots of accessories, here they are. The first one we get is this backpack that can be opened to store something inside and can fit on the back of the figures. Then we get something for navigation, like this map, or even a sextant, nicely detailed. Then we get the shovel and a couple pickaxes. Then some weapons like three rifles, two guns and even some dynamite. Then something for cooking like a mug or a frying pan. And for studying we get a magnifying glass that actually works. Three pairs of binoculars. A camera. Nice. <clears throat> and even some tape with a dinosaur picture on it, which is nice, and that can fit into the camera. So to end, this is everything you get in the set. There's enough to play any kind of adventure. You get two big dinosaurs that kids would love to play with. You get two vehicles, a nice boat that I didn't love at first, but it offers a lot of different options to play with. And it brings to the mind even the lost world from Arthur Conan Doyle to me that I'm an older kid, put it this way. And uh, even though 2000 wasn't the best year for LEGO, this is a nice toy, a very nicely done toy. Now, if it brings back memories to you, if you like it, if you have anything to say, please say that in the comment section. If you want more, please subscribe or hit like if you like this video. Good night!